Welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the fascinating history of one of Wales's most iconic and imposing medieval castles. Caffili Castle. Whether you're a history buff, a castle enthusiast, or just looking for some travel inspiration, this episode is packed with epic tales of medieval warfare and a closer look at one of the largest fortresses in Europe. Caffili Castle isn't just any old fortress. It's the largest castle in Wales and the second largest in Britain after Windsor Castle. Built back in the 13th century, this castle is a masterpiece of medieval military architecture and is a new, unique design has made it famous around the world. Today we're not just looking at the stones and walls. We're stepping back in time to understand why Caffili Castle was built, how it defended against invasions and the legacy it left behind. Let's set the scene. It's the 1260s and Wales is a divided land. The powerful Welsh prince, Llewellyn Ap Gruffydd, is determined to expand his influence across the country. And in response, Gilbert de Clare, an English nobleman with significant lands in South Wales, decides he needs to secure his territory. And how does he plan to do that? By building an absolutely massive fortress right here in Caffili. Construction began in 1268 and Gilbert de Clare designed the castle with cutting edge defences for the time, making it a formidable stronghold that would hold up against Welsh attacks. Now what really sets Caffili Castle apart from other medieval castles is its brilliant design. The castle has a series of moats, lakes and drawbridges. This wasn't just for show. These water defences helped protect against enemy attacks and made Caffili a true fortress island. In fact, Caffili Castle was one of the first in Britain to use a concentric design, meaning it had multiple layers of walls this made it incredibly difficult to breach as attackers would have to fight their way through several rings of defences. And check this out, the castle even has a leaning tower, which is sometimes compared to the leaning tower of Pisa. It leans because of subsidence, but it's still standing strong after centuries of conflict. Over the centuries, Caffili Castle has seen its share of battles and political power plays. After it was built, Llewellyn Ap Gruffydd tried to capture it, but he failed due to its defences. Fast forward a bit and the castle played a significant role in the battles between the English Crown and the Welsh rebels. By the time of the English Civil War in the 17th century, Caffili had largely lost its strategic importance and fell into ruin. However, much of the castle's structure remained intact, preserving its impressive history for us to see today. Today, Caffili Castle stands as a testament to medieval ingenuity. It's managed by CADU, the historic environmental service of the Welsh Government, and welcomes thousands of visitors each year. The castle isn't just about its history, 
It's also a place where people come to admire its beauty and learn about Wales' rich cultural heritage. Visitors can explore the Great Hall, climb the towers, and of course, see the famous Lean-In Tower. If you're lucky, you might even catch a medieval reenactment or event that brings the castle's history to life. So there you have it castle that's more than just walls and towers. It's a symbol of Welsh resilience, medieval craftsmanship and a piece of history that still resonates today. Whether you're here for the architecture, the history or just a great photo opportunity, Caerphilly Castle is an unforgettable experience. Thanks for joining us on this journey through time. And don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell to get notified about more historic adventures. Until next time, keep exploring and I'll see you all in the next video. Just like to say a big thank you to all my subscribers. You're the heart of this channel. And thank you for hitting that subscribe button, sticking around and showing up video after video. And if you're new here, welcome. I'm so excited to have you join us on this journey. There's a lot more to come. I have so many exciting ideas and projects planned and can't wait to share them with you. So years to the future and all the amazing things we're going to experience together. I couldn't do it without you. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you for supporting me, for being here, and for being part of this community. I can't wait to see where we go from here, and I'm so glad we're doing it together.